Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I had mentioned before that I was thinking of doing a eyeshadow palette collection video, um, and just showing you guys all the palettes I have that are not Avon, like some of my, um, high-end palettes that I have collected. <laughs> I'm a little bit addicted to the high-end eyeshadow palettes, and, um, I, <laughs> I was like, I need to do this video because... I'm so badly wanting to purchase the new Natona, Natasha Denona Love Palette, and I don't need it. And so I was like, you know what, if I get all my palettes out and look at them, then I knew that would help with that urge to buy that because I would see that I have other shades similar in my collection um, that I could get. So that is why I finally got off my butt to film this palette today. Um, and then it always seems like people always ask like, what lipstick do I have on? So in case I forget now, I'm just showing it to you. It is the Avon Mattitude uh, Liquid Lipstick in Resolute, which is probably my favorite one. I, I really like this one. I like this one and, um, Devoted. Those are my two favorites. So, okay, I'm going to show you these so we can get through them because there's quite a few. Now, I recently decluttered, and when I say recently, it was in 2019, and I would say in the second half of the year. So, within the past, like, seven to eight months, I probably went through and got rid of a lot of palettes. Um, <coughs> excuse me, when I say got rid of, I mean I um, gifted them to someone in my family. So these are what I have left, which is still a lot. And I'm trying to group them all together by brand, but if I miss one or two, then sorry. So we'll start with Huda Beauty. Um, I, I love Huda. And that Mercury Retrograde grade is another palette that makes me really want to buy... Like, I really want that palette. I wanted it at Christmas time, and I still want it. So, so I was like, you need to just chill out. Um, alright, so, this is the Medium Nude. Um, I got I don't have my glasses on. Let me put them on for you guys, just so I can read for sure the right names of everything. It's a little bit dark in here. We're supposed to be getting a snowstorm today. Um, I think, like... They said by like 5 to 7 the snow is supposed to start, I think, or somewhere like that. So let me put my glasses on so that I can read the names to you. Okay, so this is the Huda Beauty Medium Nude Obsessions Palette. This one is fairly new. I just purchased this at Christmas time of 2019 during the um, uh, Sephora VIB sale. It's a very warm neutrals palette. I mean, you do have a couple, like... Well, no, overall, it's pretty warm. So, yeah, nice mix of shimmers, though, and mattes. I really, really like the Huda palettes a lot. And then this one is the Huda Beauty Light Nudes Obsession. It looks like this. I really like these little nine-pan palettes that she does. I think they're like $28 or something, um, which is still kind of pricey, but they're really, really pretty. So this one is more cool-toned. And this one is the one that I have on today. Um, I have a lot of that, uh, this shade right here on my lid and it transferred and I don't even care because it's so pretty. I just, I just love it. So this is the one I have on today. This is the light nude obsessions collection. And then, um, I have a couple more of the nine pans. I've got the, um, Huda Ruby Obsessions, which is this. And this one is, uh, like reddish toned shades, obviously with the name, uh, Ruby, right? And these, I love these palettes that have so much color in them. Oh, and they're all super good quality. I'm not going to swatch anything because we would be here for like ever and a day. But they are all gorgeous. And then this one is the Sapphire Obsessions. My dog's going to bark his head off. So if you're into blues or aqua, this one is really, really pretty. Um, and these are a mix of like glitters, shimmers, and mattes. I love this one. I love these... Um, 
these obsessions ones these colored ones for like a really bold lid shade or a liner and then I have the Huda emerald obsessions which is the greens and I love those so this one is the greens isn't that so pretty oh, I just love it love it and then um, I have two of her larger palettes this one is the new nude this one came out before those little mini nude obsession ones and this one is gorgeous too and this one I think is kind of curbing me um, I don't know I don't know I just don't need the other stuff so I'm holding the thing over the mirror there this one kind of is the one I said reminds me of the Avon Sun Roses palette this is a beautiful spring palette but you can use it in like the fall too it's for any time but it's gorgeous love these Huda palettes and then the next one is the Huda Desert Dusk palette and you've got to give her props on all her packaging so pretty I'll put the little liner over and this one's definitely really warm toned here yeah this reminds me like this has some of those shades that that Natasha did in the Sun to Roses uh, palette has so I don't need that right you guys but I still really want the mercury retrograde I really want all of them <laughs> so those are my Huda Beauty ones now I also have one here from Violet Voss and I just showed this recently um, I have the like a boss palette I showed this in the um, uh, get ready with me I did that was a live video and I don't think that the um, colors showed up very well on that um, because the lighting was off on the live but this is what this one looks like and this palette in the beginning it had really good reviews on Sephora and in the beginning I bought it and I didn't like it I was really disappointed in it and then the more I used it the more I fell in love with it it's a gorgeous palette it's so nice so those are my Huda and my one Violet Voss um, speaking of Natasha Denona, well, here I have, okay, let me do this first. I have a Viseart. I actually have two Visearts. You know what? I'm missing one. Um, I have another Viseart mini. Um, it's in my travel bag though. I forgot to get that out that I take like when I have to go stay at my mom's or something and it's the, like the sunset colored one and it's little like this size. It's a little itty bitty guy. So this one is the, um, the, I don't, I don't know very much about the Viseart shadows um this one might be called a theory palette does that sound right i don't know but this one is the ones that are just the smoky shades so so i have that one and then i have the one um the other one that's in my travel isn't like a six pan like this it's more pans but um they're smaller than this um and it has like sunset colors like some really pretty warm tones and a purple and uh some stuff like that and i use it for when i go to my mom's all right now i'll show you the um here's another straggler that i have only one of and this was recently purchased too um over christmas i got this from sephora during the um vib sale um, this is a Pat McGrath, and this is the only Pat McGrath palette I have because they're really expensive, too. This one is the Eye Ecstasy Sublime Shadow Palette, and this just has five shades in it. And it was like a... I just got it to see how I liked the formula, and they're beautiful, but I have not really played with it very much, so I couldn't tell you too much. But it's really, really pretty. Really pretty, the shades are. So that's the only Pat McGrath I have. My glasses have a smudge on them, and it's driving me nuts. I can see it. All right, so so next we'll go to... Oh, those are dirty. Why are my glasses always so dirty, you guys? I just don't... I don't know why they are. Because I'm always touching, touching them. These are the ones I wear when I'm coloring. Um, these are my good ones. Uh, these are readers, but they are more... More gooder. <laughs> They're a little bit more um, sturdy. They're not dollar store readers. And so these are the ones I use when I'm coloring. So they get dirty because I'm always touching them. All right, so now we're going to go on to the Natasha Denonas. And I mostly just have the minis, and then I have one full size from her. So this one is the T Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette. 
the minis look like this. You still get a very substantial amount of shadow in these. So um, just so you know, if you ever want to try her shadows, this is a perfect way to do that because they're like $25, I think. And you get a lot, you know, um, and they're really nice. Her shadows are really nice. I'm not going to lie. They're really nice. This one is the mini gold palette. That's the gold. This is the mini sunset, I think. Yeah, mini sunset here. I should depot these because I think they pop right out, and you can put them like in a Z palette or something, and that way I would I'd be able to have them all together. And then the last mini I have is the Lila. And this was my very first one that I purchased, and I love this one. This one is probably, of all the minis, <clears throat> excuse me, this one's my favorite because that blue shade is to die for. It is gorgeous. It is like a stunner. It's just beautiful. I love it. Sorry I didn't do my nails. All right, and then I have one of her. They're not minis, but they're like, uh, what are they called? Eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette five so they hold five colors but the pans are huge and this one is number seven so it doesn't have a, a you know like a name to it but I I obsessed over this palette for so long before I finally bought it because I love the colors in it they are just beautiful beautiful mm love my Natasha, my Natasha Denim shadows. I absolutely love them. And you know, they are expensive and um, in most cases they're more expensive than like the Huda. But I'll be honest with you, I don't feel guilty about it because I love them so much and I enjoy using them so much that I don't care. I really don't. I mean, they give me joy. They truly give me joy. So then I have the full size Lila also. So I had the mini Lila here. And I have the full size, and this is my only full size Natasha Denona palette. So the one I want now is the Love palette, and then I kind of want Metropolis too. Metropolis is really big, but it's $129, I think. This one was also $129, which is crazy, I know. I know it's crazy, but I, like I said, these shadows, they just bring me joy. When I put these eyeshadows on, I feel like a million bucks. I just do it and, and to me it's worth it I love them I love them I love them <laughs> okay so that's all my Natasha Denona next we will do my Too Faced um, a recent one that I got at Christmas time was the hot buttered rum I'm all about the minis now like I'm I love these mini sizes because they're so like good so this is uh, it's a reflection sorry so this is a warm toned obviously palette really really nice and it has a it has a nice scent to it to me it doesn't smell like buttered rum though I don't really I, I don't know what buttered rum smells like to be honest with you but it smells like cinnamon or something I like it and then I've got a couple of the chocolate bar palettes I have the um, chocolate gold I can pop that one open and I think that's my most recent one of the golds of the chocolate palettes I mean the chocolate gold this is a pretty one for spring too there's some good spring shades in there I should bring that out I mean, I've had it for a while um, and then I have the chocolate bonbons I think Keith got me this one for Christmas the year that it came out they're all heart shaped or was it Valentine's when did this come out I don't really know but that's pretty I don't use these enough they do smell really really good um, and then I have the semi-sweet chocolate bar, which looks like that. I like this one quite a bit. That one's pretty. And here is the original chocolate bar, which is a good one too. Back when I used to be into like watching um, Project Pan videos, um, 
I think it was Angela, Angela Scar, I think she did this one. And I don't know, did Amber F. pan this too? I don't know if she did or not. Um, Amber F. is a big uh, project panner. She pans a lot of eyeshadow palettes. She works on them for a whole year. So that's really nice. And then I have the peach one also. So the uh, sweet peach. This was another one that I really obsessed over. And then you can see I've used it oh so much. Oh, you know what? I have another one too. Let me show you guys really quick. I'll grab it. I got to scoot. I can reach it. So don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh, I got to reach it. Because it's in my makeup bag. I use it all the time. Okay. The other one I have is the Too Faced Natural Matte. And this one is old. I will fully admit it's old. But this is a go-to palette for me. I've showed this palette and talked about it lots of times. I use it a lot. Um, it's just a neutral matte palette that's really, really good to work with colored shades. Or I use it in my brows. I use the uh, cream highlight like under my brow bone and everything. I use this palette a lot. It gets a lot of love. So I have this in my makeup bag so it's always handy uh, and I can use it at any time so oh and then I have <coughs> excuse me one more uh, Too Faced palette is the Natural Lust it's kind of hard to see because it's so reflective and I got this one uh, just this last year at Christmas time too so it's kind of new all these reflective things don't make a very good yeah I'm already definitely talking myself out of that. Natasha the Nona Love and all that. I don't need that stuff right now. I just do not. Um, oh, and another Too Faced. I forgot about this one. This one was at, uh, out at Christmas this last year, and it is the... I don't know if it says. I don't think it says what, which one it was. Like the Snow Girl collection or whatever, I think. So this one was out at Christmas. They just don't. There you go. So these are all really fun. Really, really fun. All right. And then I have one, I think, just one here from uh, Lime Crime. I used to be really against Lime Crime, and I never would purchase anything from them. And then I've kind of eased up in the last while or so, and I purchased this and some lipsticks, some of their liquid lipsticks. But this is a really pretty one. So this is a Venus XL2. Let me show you the... Uh, again with the packaging it's beautiful this palette I can tell you I really believe that this palette is truly unique in my collection it has a lot of really interesting I don't know how to I don't want the um, the reflection to be so bad but this has a lot of really interesting shades there we go you can see it pretty good there I really really like this one a lot I need to show this one some more love it's a good spring palette so yeah I do have that one. And then I have one Tarte palette right now. Um, I did have more, but I declared them. But I couldn't get rid of this one. This one is the Make Believe in Yourself one. So it's a, it, this is an older one. And this was when Tarte first started to finally not just do all the neutrals all the time. Like, now they do color. But for a while, I remember for years, all they did was, like, neutral shades, and it was terrible. So this shade in the middle is like a highlight. You can use it as a highlight or under your brow bone, but it's highly shimmery. And then there's only one matte in here and all the rest are shimmers. And I like this one. I just couldn't, I don't use it very often, but I couldn't like make myself let it go. It's so pretty. So there's that one. Okay. Now I have one from BH Cosmetics. <laughs> And it's the Zodiac. It's the original Zodiac palette. And this palette, you guys, this palette is a knockout. It is inexpensive. You can get it on the BH Cosmetics website. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at Kohl's because Kohl's carries BH Cosmetics now. And that's what I did. I used my Kohl's cash to purchase this. And this palette is inexpensive, but I am telling you, it will knock you out. Let me, it's got a giant mirror, so let me... <laughs> move that but it some of the shades in this are stunning <coughs> excuse me so you've got mattes and then you have the corresponding like shimmer that goes with it 
<clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> they are just beautiful. <clears throat> and I think this palette is under $20. Pardon me. Do I have any cough drops out? I don't think I do. <clears throat> They're all in my purse. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So next we've got um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think I only have two from her. The Riviera palette, which I'm not crazy about. It came with a brush. Brush is still in there. I have used this palette quite a few times, and I just cannot quite get it. I just can't do a look that I love with this palette. I don't know why. I just struggle with it. So this one, it's pretty. You would think like all those pops of color, I would really, really love it. But for some reason, I struggle with this one. Um, I don't know. I just have a hard time with that one. And then the other one that I have is the Modern Renaissance, and this was my first ABH palette, and uh, let me take the brush out, and I love this one. This one's a stunner. I think this is the one that started that trend of all, like, the warm reds that everybody loves so much now. Like, <clears throat> there's been, like, a billion knockoff palettes of this. It's gorgeous. I love it. Couldn't get rid of that one. In the fall... This one's gorgeous. And it, if you have blue eyes, this is a great one for you. All right. I think I have two MAC palettes. And I got rid of a bunch of them, but I could not get rid of these. So these are the Eyeshadow Times 15. Um, and this one is the Warm Neutrals. I don't think these are going to stay in my collection for that much longer, though. I just don't reach for them. I want to reach for them. I like the idea of them. But they're just, they don't float my boat. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're just not my thing. So that's the warm. If I do keep them, I'll keep the cool. And so then this one is the cool. And I still have the plastic on the cool. But, I mean, I've used it plenty of times. I just never took the plastic off the front. But I, I don't know. If I was to keep them, I think I'd keep the cool. Because I have so many warm-toned shadows that this one would be okay to get rid of. Or no, that warm one would be okay to get rid of. Remove those. We're coming to the end now. Oh, I got one Kat Von D in here. The metal. But I think, isn't this one that... Oh, it's, it's that one, like, it turns upside down. So, like, it says matte, and then if you turn it upside down, it says, like, metal or something like that. I forgot I even had this. I didn't barely use it, which is why I kept it. It's just a warm palette, but I don't know. It is, it's not crazy. I'm not crazy about it either. I think I got it on sale, so. All right, and then next I think we have all the rest of Urban Decay and Lorac. So this is the Urban Decay Naked Heat, and I had all the Naked palettes. I had all of them, and I got rid of all of them. And I'll tell you, the one that I, the one that was so hard for me to get rid of, I want to make sure I did get rid of it. Yeah, I did. The one that was so hard for me to get rid of was the Urban Decay Naked Smoky, or no, 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 the Smoked. It came. That was the old one. It came in the black case with the zipper around it. You guys, I love that palette, but I had it for so long, it was really old. So I do love this one, and this one is a good, warm palette. I like this one much better than I like that matte, or the MAC uh, Neutral 15. That one to me is boring. This one is exciting. I like this one. So I love this one. I got all these eyeshadows. I'm crazy. I am crazy. <clears throat> and then the only other Urban Decay palette, you know, I really cleaned, I had a lot of Urban Decay and I got rid of a lot of them, was the Born to Run. This palette is really fun. It's got like all these travel scenes on it. I gotta step it up. We're gonna run out of time. So this is a great palette too. I definitely don't need that Natasha Denona set because look at all these shadows. So this has got everything you could want in it. Love this. Born to Run. And now I'm going to do my Lorac shadows. This is the Lorac Pro. Is this the original Pro? No, this is Pro 2. Pro 2. 
The rock shadows are beautiful and they're super, super buttery and easy to blend, but they're almost so soft that, that you can like over blend them. You know what I mean? You have to be careful. This came with, uh, oh, this is an eye and cheek palette. This one's really pretty. The Lorac Refined Renaissance. No, Refined Romance. I'm sorry. This one came, it was a um, Nordstrom exclusive during the um, Nordstrom summertime sale. So yeah, that one's really pretty really really pretty that so it's like your cheek and your highlight and um yeah two highlighters and then six shadows and a blush I think this was only $15 during the Nordstrom sale it was like a Nordstrom exclusive or something like that all right so this is the original Lorac Pro here oops I dropped the little sleeve. This one's had some love. I mean, I'm not, I haven't hit pan, but I've definitely used it. And then we have, I think this one's Pro 3. Yeah, Pro 3. There was a time when Lorac shadows were like my jam. That's pretty much all I ever used. So that's the Pro 3. And you can get <clears throat> Lorac at um, Kohl's now, I think, too. They sell it at Kohl's. And then this one is the Pro 4. This one's really pretty. So that's the Pro 4. Yeah, you guys. See, I when I start looking at all these, then I realize like how many I really have, and I'm like, you need to slow your roll check. All right, so now I have the Mega Pros. <laughs> so this is the Mega Pro Three. Yeah, these need to be utilized. But I'll be honest with you, like lately I play with my Avon stuff so much I don't even reach for my high-end stuff as much as I should. I pay a lot of money for these things. I should, you know, use them. This one is the Lorac Mega Pro 4. I think this was the last Mega Pro. I, I think they stopped after 4. Well, this one's really pretty. This one has a lot of really good spring type shades in it. Really, really pretty. So the Mega Pros are two rows of mattes and two rows of shimmers. So you get 20 shimmers and 20 uh, mattes. So 40 shadows. They're like they're they were they were like the ones that came out at the holiday time. Um, this one is the Mega Pro. So this one must be just the first Meg the first one that they did. There was so much hype over this when it first came out, you guys. They sold out like I mean, it sold out in like six minutes it was crazy they were like rolling stone tickets or something i mean it was nuts i didn't get it the first go round because i missed it so i had to wait until later and get it but they're so soft you just got to be really careful with them they need to be used i need to use these and then this one is the mega pro 2 and then by the time they came out with this one they kind of got their their act under control. Now, when you see this one, you'll notice that the bottom four, um, the bottom four in the row, the bottom row, I have four, four hit, four pans is what I'm trying to say. I didn't use those up. They broke. It came broken, uh, which was a bummer because one of the shadows that I was really excited about having in this palette was, it was like a deep, deep green. It was broken. So, but I didn't want to send it back just for those four because I figured by the time I get a new one, they might be broken too. So that is it. That is my eyeshadow collection, uh, my palette collection. These are the ones that made the cut during my last declutter. And I got to be honest with you, other than giving up the MAC Warm Neutral, I don't know if I would get rid of any of these right now. Maybe the Kat Von D, maybe, I don't know, but all of them just like make my little heart pitter patter, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> all right, you guys, well, that's my high-end eyeshadow collection. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if there's any of the ones on there that I have that you have that you love or have any questions about or anything like that. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.